We are currently at an elephant sanctuary in Thailand and are so excited for today because this is something we have been dying to do. We're also really excited that we came here specifically today. This is the WFFT, the Wildlife Friends Foundation in Thailand. It's like two hours from Bangkok and they just treat the animals here really well. A lot of them have been rescued from captivity or they were injured and now they're being treated here. It should be awesome. We're gonna see a ton of different species and we're gonna see them in a way that doesn't harm them, which is something that's just really important to consider when coming to Thailand, because a lot of places do harm the animals. <laughs> Look at them, they're right there. I'm so excited. So with this tour, we don't only get to see elephants, but we also get to see like monkeys, I hear, and, and gibbons, some, and gibbons and other animals. So it's gonna be cool. How excited are you right now? I'm on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 for sure. Me too. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen an elephant, maybe in the zoo when I was like really young, but this is kind of... It's different. It's a big day. And yeah, I mean they're living. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see that? What is that? <laughs> it's an elephant. <laughs> so disorienting seeing an animal that's like bigger than me. Is that, you know? <laughs> I'm so used to being the biggest around. <laughs> this thing is huge though. This is the oldest elephant here, 75 years old. She's beautiful. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Isn't she cool? Yeah, she's grandma. She's a grandma. She, she used to live in a group, but then she got a little grumpy, so they had to put her in her own place. Yeah. So she just needed her space. <laughs> now she has it. There's a bear right there. It's apparently a certain species that's like a super small bear. So people keep them as pets sometimes and then later realize that they're not pet animals. They're supposed to be in the wild. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, apparently their tongues are like 20 centimeters long to be able to go into flowers and like get out the nectar, I'm pretty sure. He's just so furry. I'm big. Now we're off to the gibbon forest. Gibbons are literally so fascinating. Apparently when they're swinging around, that means they're happy. So they're really excited to see that kind of behavior. And also they form like lifelong monogamous pairs often. So if you find a group of them living in the wild, it's usually a male, a female, and then their offspring. And that's it. So, so cool. Hello. So the noise that these gibbons are making are them warning the others that there are humans here. And it just gets louder and louder and louder. Yeah, like we're, <laughs> we're potential predators. Oh, look at him, he's swinging. There is something going on. <laughs> they are upset. There's so many baby turtles. It's actually a critically endangered species. Literally right underneath the heat lamp. So are the babies. All right, it's time for lunch. Lunch time. It's great. <laughs> this looks so good. Elephants in the distance. Mm -hmm. This is a great, great meal. <laughs> It was a great tour. We learned a lot, you know? Yeah. And the fact that they're all like rescued animals, like this is way mm -hmm. better than what they would have had otherwise. Mm -hmm. You know? Time for part two. <laughs> it wants all the food.
now we are walking to try to go see some tigers. There's a tiger. So this is so cool. This is actually the biggest tiger enclosure in all of Thailand. And to get the tigers here, it performed like one of the biggest tiger rescues in all of Thailand history. Yeah, I never realized how valuable tigers truly were. Apparently like when they die, every part of them can be sold. Their skin, their bones can be like boiled down to make a gelatin. And what's really sad is once a tiger is born in captivity, it can like never be released in the wild because it never has the chance for its mother to teach it how to hunt. Um, I wish we could get really good videos, but they're all kind of shy. Um, there's one sleeping over here and there's a bunch. It looks like they're just in the cages getting um, treatment or something today, but. <laughs> now we get to feed the elephants. So we're currently making the food for the elephants, which is banana balls. So we're peeling and smashing the banana and then putting it into a ball, basically. You are an expert banana masher. Look at those balls. Elephants are going to love that. She said it was okay to try it. Can you feed me like a teeny bit? You really wanted to try it? How often do you get to try elephant food? I don't like this. It's not very good. Oh, don't try the elephant stuff when you come here. So cute. They're so hairy. I feel like it's staring at me. gonna feed an elephant. Oh. Uh. It's right there. I won't pick that. Okay. Here we go. Oh, he wants it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, well that wraps up our day. Rika, final thoughts? Oh, it was so great. I definitely recommend coming here if you come to Thailand and the link is down below for this place. But if you're not near Bangkok or don't wanna go here, make sure to do your research. Make sure it's a humane sanctuary. It's really important. On that note, thank you so much for watching this whole video. Really hope you enjoyed the videos of animals. Yep, make sure to subscribe and we'll see you soon. See you soon, bye bye.